we are. Ammo, early morning. This is Neddy. G up Neddy. People doing all kinds, look, all, it's all markets and everyone's freezing, they're all dressed up in their warm weather gear. This is my first being pulled along by a horse in a car sort of thing. I'm off to the ferry in the early morning. Oh dear me, this is bumpier than the boat. It's, it's like getting a, it's like my bum's getting a, a time massage all of its own. Oh my gosh. Yes, the seats are wooden. First class. Absolutely first class. Look at this mist, look, look, look. It's quite dramatic, isn't it? It's quite atmospheric. I like mist. I like mist. Here comes a cyclist. Ooh. Through the mist. The misty cyclist. I find video cameras absolute rubbish at sunsets. I am trying, but I think it's going to be crap. I do apologise. It looks 500 times better than this. However, it is quite good at mist. Look at this mist. Look. Look. This is Jonah, my driver this morning, and this is Qatar, the horse. Thank you very much to both of you. Thank you. Cheers, Ube. Cheers, Ube. Here are some of the other forms of transport to be found around the town. It's like a tractor with no clothes on, doesn't it? A little baby tractor or something. Oh, if I was a manly, I'd know all about these engines, but I'm not. I can tell you a thing or two about tights, though. Over here, look. Look at this big, smart... Look, look at that. Eh? Eh? Ooh. Okay, this is another one for um, step fans. Look, here's the steps, all just cut out, which I think is super. And the method of... Uh, embarkation that I've been calling the gangplank I mean I, I don't know you know I suppose I haven't seen many overweight people here but I mean a lot of us in England would have a bit of a wobble going across that wouldn't we can you imagine you know getting your your mum and your auntie across that blimey here's the men here's the wild men look look what are they doing oh maybe they're stealing that beam Oh, no, a bit high jumping. We seem to be having a spot of bother getting away and these men are wading about in the water. I think they're trying to push the boat. Or ferry, I should say. Apparently this happens. This is why the uh, time of the journey is, is approximate. Oh, I know. Let's pretend there's a fire. Let's have a fire drill. Ah, yeah. Let's get the fire hose. Oh. I suppose that must be why they have a Buddhist monk on board, so we can all uh, help him to pray if there's a fire, instead of relying on silly things like a fire hose. Good Lord, what a silly modern world this is. Do you like this lamp? I thought it was rather good. It's in the loo. There's the window of the loo. And here's the loo. And this is why it's advisable, probably, to, um, go earlier rather than later because it's a bit, can you see it's a little bit on the small side in here. Maneuvering is not easy. I think they've swished it down with water or perhaps they had a jolly good pee. There's a really interesting dye here. I don't want to touch it in case it works the boat. I don't want to start a fire or get us stuck on a sandbank. But um, yes, it's already, it's already fairly smelly. And I think probably the thing to do here is try to go lots of the, you know, <clears throat> sort of going to the toilet before you get on a thing like this because uh, although it looks like a big P&O ferry outside and it's got all the big metal things and everything, uh, when it gets down to it, don't forget where we are. We're not going to the Isle of Wight, John. <coughs> We're in slightly grubby toilet land.
are well underway now on our ferry trip. Look at me squinting in the bright sun. Ooh, squint, squint, squint. Uh, yes, big ferries. I um, I must say, actually, to be completely honest, I prefer the little boats because they're more fun. You know, you're kind of wedged in with people and you're close to the water. And of course, now we're on a much bigger river, so everything's much further away. So I'm not going to do much filming because I have to use my zoom. And my zoom's very wobbly. Because even though I've got a tripod, the boat's going like this. <laughs> like that. So as soon as I try and use the zoom, there's this, oh, you think it'd be imperceptible, wouldn't you? You really would, but no, it's perceptible and annoying. And um, it's a shame, really, because there's dolphins and uh, herons and uh, spaceships and uh, very rare striped elephants and all kinds of things up here. But you're not going to be able to see any. Here's the flag. Where is it? Oh, there it is. You don't want to see the flag, you want to see me, I know. So here we are, up on the, look, just look, 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 look at this, look, look. Whoa! Scary, huh? So yeah, so here we are. It's pleasant enough, it's relaxing, which is very nice. Um, it's funny, I, I don't feel like I've relaxed for ages, I just feel like I've been on the go, on the go. Oh, I've got here, quick, have a walk around, look around, oh, okay, get on the plane, oh, get on the, not the plane, no, train. Get on the bus, unicycle, uh, thing pulling you with a, a cabbage on the end which you wouldn't even be able to eat unless you cooked it. I am enjoying people watching down on the deck, uh, especially the kids because they've got space to play and watching them have games, things very funny. Um, and uh, I shall eat my um, stolen breakfast. I'm such a naughty boy. I'm beyond redemption though, so that's the end of that. It's all very well having all these big engines and things. But you do need a man to steer it. And here he is in here, this is the nerve center. This is where it all happens. Actually, it's not the nerve center, is it? It's more like a sort of, uh, more like a lung, maybe, or a, um, a carpetungaloodle muscle or something. But I wonder if they let me go in and have a look round. I know what you're thinking. Show us the controls for this machine, righty-ho. Look at this. It's like being in a World War II movie. Look at look at the how simple and big and chunky all these old controls are. How old do you reckon this ferry is? I'm not an expert, but shouldn't he be looking forwards? Now, what do you think might be going on here? What do you think? Maybe it's uh, pirates? Maybe they've come to give us a tow or a push because I don't think we've moved for about half an hour or more. Maybe they're going to play big river dodgems. I don't know. The suspense is almost unbearable. Oh, oh, unbearable. I don't see any people though. Oh, it's pirates. It's pirates. Blimey. Better go and put my bishop's outfit on. They won't attack me then. That one seems to be, I don't know if you call it cargo or empty. It's, it's going you got a bit, 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 Oh well. Watch this, this is something that happens all over Southeast Asia. You take the beetle leaf, you add areca nut, some mineral slate lime, maybe some other flavorings, and then you basically wrap it up and you chew it, and it's a stimulant. Now the lime 
keeps the active ingredient in a form so it can enter the bloodstream easily and it also contains something that makes your spit turn red and that's why you see people with very red teeth in this area sometimes. So if you fancy trying something that's got antiseptic properties, that's a breath freshener that can cure worms, can treat headaches, arthritis and joint pain, can cure toothache, constipation and nosebleeds, and is also an aphrodisiac as well as being a stimulant, Beetle is for you. Look at that temple way out there on that rock. Who on earth visits that? 